unexpected Jesus born to set thy people free from my fears and sins release us let us find our rest in Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Leeward Islands District Devotional for today. I am Mona Christmas Fraser, a minister of the Methodist Church in the Caribbean and the Americas, serving in the Dominica Circuit. We continue this week in our Advent Reflections on the theme, While We Wait, and we close today with a sub-theme, While We Wait, Let Us Worship the King. Let us join in singing the first two stanzas of O oh, Worship the King, All Glorious Above. Let us pray. O God, creator of heaven and earth, sovereign and majestic over all created things, we adore you. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. It is in you and through you our lives are ordered, living and moving and having our being. Like the psalmist, may we declare we will praise you, Lord, as long as we live for the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, for the beauty of each hour of the day and of the night. Gracious God, to you we raise our sacrifice of praise. Loving God, we rejoice in this season of good news and goodwill as we celebrate your Son, our Savior, the Prince of Peace, the Light of the World, the Word made flesh. O oh, that we might be a people prepared, search us, O oh God. Whatever is not reflective of your life in us, remove it, we pray. Have mercy upon us and forgive us, that strengthened by your love we may serve you more faithfully. For your coming through Jesus and your promise to come again, Lord, we worship you with hearts of gratitude and expectation. In the name of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. A reading from Psalm 96. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Honour and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. 
The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord. For he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Advent Reflections focused on the theme, While We Wait, and throughout the week we looked at some of the calls on our lives while we do so. We were reminded, let us live the life of repentance. Let us watch and pray. Let us live as children of light. Let us be steadfast. Let us serve one another. And today, let us worship the King. While we wait for the return of Christ, we will encounter and have encountered varying trials and testings that tax our patience. At such times, waiting can prove difficult, especially when there seems to be no end to the waiting on the horizon. Such a waiting period can result in spiritual slumber and fatigue, hopelessness, frustration and anxiety. But be aware, it is at such times that the enemy may seize the opportunity to lure us as God's children away from sincere and regular worship. Let's be reminded again of what worship is. It is that act of ascribing to God that which God is worthy of. As put in Revelations 4.11, Thou art worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. In a world where some have grown tired of waiting, worship of God has become a convenience. For others, it has become but another event in the busy schedule. While others have drifted to lifting people and things to pedestals, and as it were, worshipping them, pastors, politicians, community leaders, icons of every sphere. But we who are in Christ have vowed loyalty, commitment, adherence, faithfulness and duty to the Most High, our King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and we live out our allegiance in our daily worship. Even as we come in this Advent season, we can look back at the children of Israel and learn some lessons from them as we engage in worshipping our King. The children of Israel knew what it was to wait. They had to wait for Moses to descend from the mountain. He took too long. May we not be like the children of Israel who grew tired waiting on the return of Moses and turned to Aaron who led them in the carving of images and worshipping of them. The children of Israel were called to sincere worship. Why? How were they worshipping? May we not be like the Jewish people in the days of Jeremiah who followed their religious celebrations to the letter. They knew the prayers and rituals that ought to be. They showed up at the appointed time, sacrificed the required amounts as stated in law, and offered many prayers. But when they left the temple, it was as if they left God there. May we be reminded even in our age, in this current context, that God is not impressed with us if we but join a full house of religious gatherings, but come with empty hearts. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. John 4, 24. Worship is not the mumbling of prayers or the mouthing of hymns and songs with little thought and less heart. We celebrate God when we join privately and corporately earnestly in prayer and intensely in song. 
Worship is not grudging gifts or compulsory service. We celebrate God when we give to him willingly and serve him with integrity. Worship is not great music done merely as performance. We celebrate God when we enjoy and participate in music all to his honor and glory. The children of Israel had to wait while in captivity for deliverance. What did they do? May we not be like them who in a strange land hung up their harps and declared, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Yes, some of our homes and communities have become as it were strange places where once worship was evidenced in the daily walk of Christians. Some have been pushed into silence. Some feel stripped of their freedom of worship in their own homes and communities. Yet, it is now more than ever, we must live a life of worship daily. Ron Allen reminds us of a worship and what it is. And I quote, Worship is a state of the heart. It is who we are. It is not what we do. When the heart is set upon God, true worship will not depend upon outward stimulus. It will be in constant progress. If our hearts are in tune with God, then all of life is a time of worship. Unquote. Worship then is our Christian duty, our service to God. When we worship God, we are seeking to duplicate what takes place in heaven. Worship serves to affirm, inspire, and support us Christians. Worship is communion with God and with fellow Christians. In worship, we are declaring the good news of what God has wrought for us in Jesus Christ. In worship, we enter the awesome, holy, majestic, and powerful presence of the living God in Christ. How is our worship? A convenience? A divided loyalty? Threatened by circumstances? Or a daily surrender of our wills? While we wait, let us continue to acknowledge whose we are. We are children of the King. And who we worship? The King the Lord who is coming, coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. May we allow God to let loose our worship to our King. All of this while we wait. Like the psalmist encourages us then, let us sing to the Lord, bless his name, Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. And where we might even shake when we sing the praise because of what others may think or say, be encouraged in the hymn. Hell's foundations quiver at the shout of praise. Brothers and sisters, while we wait, let us lift our voices, loud our anthems raise. Glory, Lord, and honor unto Christ our King. This through countless ages, we with angels will sing while we wait. Amen. Let us pray. God, it is you who made us. And it is for your pleasure that we were and are created. Lord, touch our lips and our lives, that we may ever offer them in praise and worship to our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords, while we wait his return. Amen. Let us sing together this song. We will glorify the King of Kings. We will glorify the King of Kings. We will glorify the Lamb. We will glorify the Lord of Lords, who is the great I Am. Lord Jehovah reigns in majesty. We will bow before His throne. We will worship. Yeah.
opportunity to wish for each of you a happy, a blessed Christmas when it comes, praying that Christ will fill your hearts and homes with hope, peace, joy, and love. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. <laughs>